Wall Street celebrates tax cuts. This is the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor. And good evening. Wall Street today signaled its approval of the tax cuts passed by the Republican Dow closed at a record high with financial stocks leading the way. Call a Christmas gift. So what's in it? Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes unwraps the tax package. Bills reduce individual rates across the board while roughly doubling the child tax credit and the standard deduction. In exchange, both plans eliminate deductions for interest on student loans, for state and local income taxes, and both plans cap the property tax deduction at $10,000. No margins. Conversion for a corporation, something, C corporation, paren, dangerous? That can't be right. And while studies show the wealthy would be the biggest winners, Republicans insist all taxpayers would come out ahead. This is what this bill is about. Take home pay. More money for the American people. Republicans do not have the luxury of focusing just on taxes. The government's funding is set to expire at the end of the week, which raises the specter of a government shutdown if the two parties can't. Right, joining me now with more on this is CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Jill, good to see you. Talk more about what this means, especially as it pertains to the middle class. Well, you know, middle class really depends on... National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster says the potential for war with the North is growing each day. Ben Tracy got to fly with American crews at the Misawa Air Base in Japan. FBI agent said today they broke up a planned mass shooting at an Islamic center in Jacksonville, Florida. One man was arrested Friday. The police say he had weapons and asked for an undercover detective for help in buying a silencer. He is identified as a citizen of the Philippines living in the U.S. on a green card. President Trump has waded into the Russia investigation again, raising new questions about obstruction of justice. Jimmy Garoulet, a former assistant attorney general under President George H.W. Bush, disagrees. The statements that have been made... Stephen Colbert's interview with Billy Bush on The Late Show right after your late local news right here on CBS. Now a quick look at some other stories in the evening news feed. The president today tweeted his endorsement of Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore despite the sexual assault accusations against Moore. Eight days before the special election, Republican Moore leads Democrat Doug Jones by six points. In 1980, Illinois Congressman John Anderson lost... Special in the sky last night as the moon made its closest approach to Earth and created a supermoon. It appeared 14% larger and 30% brighter than normal. The next supermoon will rise on New Year's night. Bears Ears National Monument was just declared. Now 85% of it could be taken away. Joe Taft has been rescuing big cats for 26 years. Many come here in poor health. So he's going to feel a lot better after this Absolutely. is done. Absolutely. Scared me. Time will name its person of the year on Wednesday. And today I put out the short list, including Chinese President Xi, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, dreamers, undocumented immigrants brought to this country as children. Coming up next here, the bravest dentists you'll ever meet. This portion of the CBS Evening News is sponsored by Ancestry. Unlock your past, inspire your future. CBS Evening News tonight, I'm Jeff Glor. Thank you for watching. Good night.